Hey everybody, it's Chris again. Just uh, wanted to show you how I do broadcast mix real quick on the Behringer Wing. Um, you know, I, I've, I've done a couple videos on the X32 and I figured it's time to show you guys how we do it on the wing here. So first thing is first, um, every channel on the board, one through 40, with all the aux ends, I have two main outputs for each of them. The first one being the mains, the second one being broadcast. So as you can see on like all of my normal channels here, so if I keep selecting through all these, you'll see all the names changing. Um, you'll see the broadcast mix changing slightly based on um, how the room sounds versus how broadcast sounds. So um, from here, uh, we basically just mix the room and then we will solo out the broadcast and we'll adjust these uh, these number two main sends um, based on what we want the broadcast to sound like. Um, so that way we can come in here and on the kick drum, for example, we can adjust the kick down because we have the kick pretty loud in the room, but the snare is, is a lot quieter because the snares, you know, um, are a lot louder because the snare is really loud in the room, so it's pretty quiet in the room uh, in terms of the PA mix. So we have an acoustic snare, it's loud in general, so in the room we have it pulled down, so on broadcast we have to pull it up a little bit. Um, and same with the toms and, and everything like that and the overheads, we need more overheads in our broadcast mix than we need in the room because again the overheads are live in the room. So that is how we mix broadcast. Now the only caveat to that is um, the way I control it, over here on the main matrix section I have mains and broadcast but um I, the way i've got this board set up I, I don't use this main ma matrix i use the user one interface so what i've done is i've assigned mains broadcast in my two uh, just random microphones like if someone needs to walk up on stage if it's our pastor or the mc i have a quick access to those faders right here but you'll notice that the main volume here is just the mains. It controls the mains and the subs. If I come back up to main matrix, you'll notice I've got PA for the tops and then the subs all on matrix one and two, but these are both coming from main one. Main three is feeding matrix three. So that, or main two is feeding matrix three. So the broadcast two, uh, which is, let's see, where's that, right here. So mains is feeding both matrix one and two and then I'm doing my crossover there, and then Matrix 2, or Matrix 3, is coming from broadcast. Hopefully that makes more sense when you look at it than when you actually hear me talk about it, because it's kind of confusing. So anyways, so right here is the, um, let me come back down to user. So you have broadcast and mains. You'll see that the mains are actually down just a little bit compared to the broadcast, because we found that if we run the mains at full volume, it gets just a little loud in here. So instead of pulling all the volumes down here and messing with the broadcast, I just pull the overall mains down a little bit so that way our broadcast stays right where we want it to be. Um, and that's how we do broadcasting. So the trick is, um, how do you get the broadcast to sound right on a live stream? So let's click on broadcast, come back over here. And if you'll notice, we have a couple of things inserted on the channel strip for the broadcast mix. So the first thing is we have a, basically a, a, an LA2 um, like compressor leveling amplifier. So we, we have it actually doing some peak reduction, kind of just smoothing out the overall mix a little bit just to make it a little easier to get to broadcast. Um, our EQ is, you know, we add a little top end because, you know, we're, you know, we're lacking a little top end in the room, uh, or not in the room, in the broadcast mix. We actually have a little more top end here um, than we need for everything else, so we just crank it up a little bit. Um, and then on the final, we have a limiter. And both of these right here, that the key is, is that you want to get about two to three dB of reduction at most. Um, most of the time, this one right here is sitting at one, if any. Uh, just, just enough to kind of smooth it out, and then we have a final limiter that gets it up to final volume. So this output gain you can see right here, we're at one dB, um, you know, you know, output gain. So basically we're trying to get as much volume over to broadcast as we possibly can, and we just crank this input gain up here until 
we are starting to see just a little bit, you know, one, two, three at the most of dB reduction um, on the limiter. So that gets us to full broadcast volume for our broadcast mix. Otherwise, we are sending all of the EQ from the channels um, to our broadcast mix. As you can see, we're not doing any sort of fancy um, EQ adjustments here other than just a little bit of a high shelf. And that is basically everything there is to it. So if we come back down to the mains here, you notice we're not doing anything on these, um, this broadcast mix to make it any different. So it's really just coming straight off of the channels into the main two mix, which the main two mix is now going straight to matrix three. So that is all there is to it. And we come back to the matrix and we just have our two compressors set in, the, the, the compressor and then the limiter. And that is how we do uh, broadcast. So um, quick and dirty video. Um, if you want any more explanation or, or if you want any more details about how we do this, uh, feel free to leave me a comment or send me an email. I will provide links to everything uh, down in the description if you want to send me an email uh, or anything like that. So until next time, we'll see you.